<clears throat> yeah, I think um, I also saw a tweet uh, recently. I think it was from uh, Shane, um, founder, co-founder of uh, Stargaze, that Stargaze is also like technically open to exploring um, a migration to become a atom secured zone, uh, similar to what Stride is doing right now. They're an existing app chain, have real users, activity, volumes, all these kind of things. And they're now migrating into an atom zone, basically. Um, so yeah, maybe Mike, you can you can share like, is that something you guys are like seriously considering and, and what would be the trade-offs? What, 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 what would be the thought process behind making that attempt to, to potentially migrate? Uh, yeah, so we're, we're currently evaluating, mul evaluating multiple options and uh, kind of like the one that you just mentioned is one of them. And we'll be following the example of either Stride or Neutron for this. And, you know, the trade-offs obviously is, a, is the, the sovereignty versus um, having that larger amount of security. And I, I think right now we're kind of, we're kind of we're leaning towards the security aspect, the shared security. And, um, yeah, we're just kind of, we're still in the evaluation process. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's obviously, yeah, Jen. I was going to say, um, Stride is blazing the trail because the uh, process of transitioning the chain from um, being a standalone chain to a, a consumer chain is um, is uh, has has not been tested yet. I mean, it's been tested like in tests, um, but uh, n never been done in real life. And I guess you know, Neutron blazed the trail for even having real life consumer chain at all. But this is going to be <laughs> it's kind of funny that this is the very next one. Um, it's going to be something new again because it's actually kind of a uh, intricate process to make sure that all the existing IBC connections stay live when the, the when it switches validator sets. Um, so uh, Stride is actually doing a lot of work uh, of like proving out, proving out, um, you know, that it that it can work. And so I think that when Stargaze comes, it'll be, um, you know, if Stargaze, if Stargaze uh, do, does this, uh, it'll be it'll be a lot smoother for Stride having gone ahead and pioneered it. Um, so I was actually just talking, I talked with Shane uh, a couple hours ago and, um, he was like, yeah, we really want to see, want to see how stride goes first. So, yeah, honestly, like, uh, we, we just had the spaces also with the, with the stride team. I, I think those two neutron and stride being the first ones to do that, like that's a perfect set to test it. Right. Because you have one chain that goes from zero to become an atom zone and then you have another chain. I love how they always draw this analogy, but switching an existing L1 as into a, a consumer chain or, or atom zone is like switching the engine of a plane mid-flight. So that's uh, a big, big thing and big endeavor. Um, yeah, we've been working with them to make a robotic arm that comes out from the wing and like grabs the engine. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like an engineering uh, masterpiece, at least. Um, maybe, Mike, can you share a little bit? Like, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the secu security aspect is something that makes sense and, and that you guys are potentially exploring right now. Um, people complaining about my, my eating habits here in Dubai. But uh, what is the, like, on a product side, like, let's talk about, you know, we talked earlier about NFTs in Cosmos and why we think it's uh, underappreciated. But what are some of the interesting innovations, developments, findings that you guys had with this game of NFTs um, on a product level that would potentially bring NFTs in Cosmos to the next level? Yeah, so um, so for example, uh, so in phase one, right, um, it turns, turns out, so we actually had this, this contract audited before um, the NFTs phase one, and uh, there, was a, there was a hack that was released and that hack actually kind of created like an infinite loop that broke down the relayers. Um, but actually ICS 721 itself was pretty much totally bulletproof. Um, so it wasn't able to be hacked. So that was, that was pretty good. Uh, and in terms of like the, the product. So one thing that we're, con we're, we're working on is a thing called outpost. So the outpost would mm -hmm. be where you'd be able to kind of list your NFT from another chain. So, when uh, and you'd be able to do this seamlessly and list your NFT on the Stargaze marketplace, and it kind of uses ICSM twenty one in the background to to do the transfer of the NFT. That's that's one that's interesting. Say like lending and borrowing could be another use case. Um, 
things that have to do with the type of like uh, maybe like an AMM within with NFTs, uh, like essentially uh, like an infinity pool. And uh, there's just kind of all these different places where where you could use NFTs seamlessly with being able to move between uh, kind of have value move between chains. And can you um, also, you, you just mentioned outposts and I talk about this quite a lot recently here, here on the channel. Um, can you talk more concretely, like, or what, what Stargazer's plans are um, deploying outposts? Like what chains are you looking at? What, what, what makes sense? And also mm -hmm. like for a user perspective, like if I'm an NFT guy, I love NFTs, but I just don't want to like go back and forth IB, with IBC all the time. Like, you know, maybe, maybe more tangible, like what problem does it fix for me um, if I'm a lazy NFT person? Well, it, it, you know, it really comes down to the UI, right? So if you have a seamless UI, you, you kind of won't even really notice that um, your NFT is coming from another chain. And uh, with, uh, with Outposts, like, for example, we consider putting one on Juno or putting one on Osmosis, maybe uh, putting one on Omniflix. Wherever um, wherever there's an NFT marketplace, that's where essentially we're going to want to put these outposts, and um, it kind of it, you know increases liquidity, right? So instead of just having the NFTs that are on Stargaze, now you're having NFTs from other chains as well, and the better that we can use the the better that we can enhance the UI because Stargaze is all all about UI. That that's kind of our bread and butter. And the better that we can make that UX experience, the more that the user doesn't really need to worry about IBC. It just kind of looks like any other NFT. Yeah, I think really the, the core thing is that for, for you. Yeah.